Hey y'all, Coach America here, coming to you from the beautiful city of Jacksonville, Florida, in the great United States of America. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm here today with Captain Steve Crowder from Jacksonville, Florida. Say hi, Steve. Give him a wave. That's all, Steve. We're targeting some big red fish with some white bellies in the blue water. Guess what? That's red, white, and blue. Just like our great country. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. You know what was happening that day? We had never met each other. No, so you didn't. your first time meeting me. You didn't warn me until you got to the ramp. <laughs> this dude's wearing what? Coach, coach shorts from the 70s? I don't know, man. I didn't know what to think. Them socks and them shorts, man. I was like, dude, is this guy serious? No. Nah. I, I put two and two together pretty quick. I knew Halloween was what, the very next day? I figured it was something like that. Coach America here. Fishing out of Jacksonville, Florida, with Captain Steve Crowder. We're just catching some monster sea donkeys, aka Mr. Giant Redfish. And I love catching redfish. You know why? Because they're red, their bellies are white, and the ocean is blue. And it'll make your drag scream. Right, folks, <laughs> this ain't a baby either. I can promise you that. Our forefathers would be proud of this monster. <laughs> this is probably what they looked like back in the mid-1700s. Let's see what we got, folks. I see color. I see white. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. White. That's I see some blue. I saw a belly. <laughs> Here's the belly count. <laughs> Let's see what we got. The captain told me it's a very expensive rod and reel, so I'm not, definitely not going to let go of it. I'm going to use some of these hard-earned American muscles and horse this thing in. And if you guys notice at home, I'm using a lot of my lower body. I like short shorts. Yeah, look at Even this. more leverage. Check this guy out. They don't see a lot of sun. Good Lord. But that's okay. Oh, it's a nice red fish. All right, get oh, it up close and I'll film it a little that. bit. Let's see, look at that. see what we're dealing with. Ooh, that's a fatty. That's a good fish, Captain. Probably about 42 inches. Watch foot, watch foot. I'll get this. Oh, yeah. Let's control this fish. Holy George Washington. <laughs> this thing's running drag. Look at the tail whip on that thing. Yeah, that's a big fish. That's a great this fish. This is a nice American made redfish right here, folks. Woo, look at them head Woo, shakes. Spunky. Hey, he's wild. This is a spunky redfish. Like the old American stallions there. He needs to be tamed. We we'll try to bring it in. You gotta take the American thing. Bald eagle, cheeseburgers, <laughs> freedom fries, and redfish peel and drag. That's what it's all about, folks. Damn it, son. This fish has got some life. Our forefathers would be proud of this fish. <laughs> but in today's time. Here, let me see something real quick. Give it a click and drag. We're gonna tighten down the drag a little bit. Oh no. Oh, we're about to get two fish. We might have a double. We, have a oh, we, we do have a We have two that are wrapped right together. Got All right, I gotta turn this off, sir. Right. Yeah, there you go, man. Hey, everybody. Coach America here with a big red, white, and blue redfish from Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome to America. Yeehaw, boys. Kiss her goodbye. There she goes. Hey, man. Right here, bud. Woo! The cat tell us about the whistle. This guy, man. He's lucky he had that whistle because he had a big old... I couldn't remember how it went down. You had a big old fish in your hands, right? Shark, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And uh, I guess we got waked just right. And dude is stumbling around and he's heading backwards right off the bow. He's about to be in the drink. And I reach over and grab his whistle and pulled him back over and got him back on his feet again. But you're lucky you had that whistle. Literally. Not only would you have been in the water, you'd have been in the water with a shark in your hands. <laughs> but yeah, that would have been that would have been entertaining. But yeah, it was, you're lucky you had that whistle. Literally saved by the whistle. Yeah, you were. Literally. <laughs>